Does it record? Okay, awesome. Hey guys, one step behind or welcome to my Q&A video. So I asked you guys uh, so I asked you guys to send me some questions you would like me to answer on my Twitter. And luckily a lot of you sent me sent me some really nice questions. Most of them are the same, but that's fine, still questions. So let's get down to it. So this first uh, set of questions is from Katie. How have you been doing recently? I've been doing pretty good. I hope the same thing for you, my friend. And who and who is your favorite character from Bleach? Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna get the name wrong, I'm sorry. It's Yoruchi, Yoruchi. Right. I think that's how you say it. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a picture of the character somewhere on the screen. Bro, wanna go elope, bro? Bro, what are you, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> All right, next, uh, Joey Maurer. What inspired you to start creating content? Well, really, um, no one really inspired me to become a YouTuber or, or a streamer, per se. Um, when the idea hatched me of wanting to become a YouTube creator uh, back in sixth grade, really the whole point of me creating content was just for money. I just wanted money. But obviously that's changed now since you know I'm a little more older, a little more mature. Now I just want to create content so I can create a community for my own and, and be friends with other YouTubers. And luckily that's been succeeding so far. Next set of questions come from Alex Levioso. Who do you voice act as? Oof, well, I don't, there's not, there's not a character that I, I stick with actually. Um, when it comes to voice acting, I mostly do narrations, YouTube advertisements, and well, commercials. If they, you know, if I get picked, um, I'll audition for them. And if I get chosen to actually be the, you know, the final one, then I get chosen. When it comes to characters, I do a little game voice, game, in, uh, little in game characters I will audition for, some for Cyberpunk and, you know, etc. Um, so yeah, there's not really a character I stick with. This is kind of a lame one, but who are some YouTubers slash Twitch streamers and any other people that inspire you? Well, like I said earlier, um, there's not really anyone that inspired me to create content and streaming because I wanted to do those on my own will. However, there is one YouTuber who inspired me to at least start doing it. It's Tomato Biscuit. I kept telling myself, I don't know, I want to, I just didn't have the motivation. But, you know, he gave me the motivation and that's, and that's where I am today. I'm, I've been streaming and uh, making YouTube content. Um, not as much now, but, you know, he basically got me out of my shell to start doing it. This is from Susan Lauderdale. Hopefully I said that right. What is the background story slash meaning of your handle, One Step Behind? So this takes me back to sixth grade when I hatched the idea of becoming a YouTuber. Really, for some reason, I was just having a bad day. I don't remember why, but I was just having a bad day. And I, the only thing I kept hearing from my teachers and you know my parents was that I was always one step behind. And I was telling my friends, that's all I kept hearing that, that day is I've been one step behind. And so from that moment on, I created one step behind. It was mostly just a purpose for to remind myself to actually get up get caught up with my work but now it's just a youtube channel and it's funny is that when i do comment on other youtubers channel uh, youtubers videos and they see it they'll they'll, they'll like my name and make a little pun or like a little, little funny for it like abroad japan i told him hey maybe give him a compass that doesn't point north to fit the whole character and he responded with he's one step ahead i i like it when youtubers do it i think my i think one step behind is a very unique youtube name jordan if you could have the ultimate bro date, who would you go with and what would you do? Honest, a bro date? Honestly, I would love to go on a bro date with Online Rogers. He is an awesome YouTube creator and cartoon creator. He makes funny skits and honestly, I would love to go get sandwiches with him. Subway sandwiches. How are you doing? Most embarrassing story and favorite show from E to the Mama. Ooh, how am I doing? Like I said, I'm doing great and I hope the same for you, buddy. Most embarrassing story. Uh, basically, to summarize it, um, I had to go get drug tested, and while I finished peeing the cup, I was trying to zip my pants up and I accidentally dropped the cup into the toilet. Oh, <laughs> that's where I knew I effed up. And so the guy that gave me the cup went in, and he was like, "Are you kidding me?" I was like, "I'm sorry, bro." And for the rest of that pe that period, it was six period, which is the longest. For that entire period, they had me walking around and drink water. I swear that I. I had not ever drank so much water in my entire life. Actually, it got to the point where if I had one more sip, I'd probably get sick and throw up. Um, and favorite show? Ooh, 
Um, oh, Ed and Eddie, obviously. I think that's my number one top favorite show. This, one, this next one's from Char. What's something that you wish you'd done or could could do in the future? Really? It would have to be theater. I wish I would have done theater back in, um, back in middle school and high school. Because basically, when it comes to voice acting, improvise is key. Like, improv is key. That's something that I struggle with till this day. And that's why I'm still... And I'm still learning and so if I would have taken those classes back in the day maybe I would have better knowledge and better understanding of improv ocean blue what advice would you give to people who just started streaming or making YouTube videos honestly there's three things I can tell you buddy if you had just started one keep it at your own pace don't try to rush things and two be yourself don't be fake don't suck off other youtubers and streamers for their viewers that that's just awful okay and three, really? Like it? Okay, maybe there's just two things. <laughs> and that and that's the same thing going towards the people who wants to become a YouTube creator and a streamer. Take it at your own pace and just be yourself. And when people see that you are trying and you know being yourself, then people will like you for that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Next question from Zach Vlogs. What slash who inspired you to become a YouTuber, streamer, voice actor? Well, like I said, no one inspired me to become a YouTuber slash streamer. Those are all in my own will. Um, but the people who inspired me to become a voice actor is the voice actors to Ed and Eddie. Like, uh, I really can't explain it, but if there's one thing that makes me happy in life, one of the few things that makes me happy in life is cartoon shows. I love cartoon shows and I will always take them with me everywhere I go and Ed and Eddie will always be my number one favorite and that like Ed and Eddie became a staple in my life like it's the top is it has the throne in my heart and so when hearing their thoughts and opinions on voice acting well basically gave me an idea to become a voice actor myself and so that's why I would love to become in many uh in many cartoon shows that sounded weird but you guys know what I'm talking about <laughs> Next question from Tomato Biscuit himself. Mm. If you had three wishes but could only use them to affect somebody else's lives, what would they be? Ooh, so this, is me, this is a more personal question. So basically, um, I already had known what to say to this question. But like I said, it was, it was a kind of a personal thing. So I guess wish number one, I love children and I hate seeing them sad and I hate when they get hurt. So I had the wish, uh, I wish that I had the power to transfer someone's pain and give it to me so I can feel it instead and they can just feel basically numb. Um, so that, you know, they don't cry and, you know, and they can just be chill and relax while they get treated. Um, I, I hate seeing kids get hurt and I hate when they cry. So that's wish number one. Wish number two, sort of the same thing, but with, you know, um, more of a, more for adults and, you know, people around my age. Um, I, I loved, when I worked at Walmart, uh, there was a lot of people that I loved and cared for that was just always going through a tough time at Walmart. So I wish I had, so wish number two, I wish I had the power to give someone fortunate, like, you know, give them fortunate for a certain amount of time. You know, basically, well, I don't want to give myself unfortunate, uh, sacrifice my fortunate for, their, for them to have it, but, you know, basically, I just hope, you know, they just have good fortune. <laughs> that's, that's the second wish. Okay, so third wish, really? That's a tough one, actually. I lost it now because describing the first two. Oh, I guess that that can help people affect lives, affect someone else's lives. Really? Um, I wish I had the power to boost up um, people's uh, mo motivations and uh, you know the self-esteem. I don't know. <laughs> All right, next question. If you ran a Pokemon gym, what type would you specialize in? Ooh, oh, that's a tough one. Uh, definitely fire. Okay, it was either it was either that or poison, but I preferably prefer fire. All right, and that was all the questions from my Twitter. Um, wait, I think I have one more. Oh, uh, this is from Lixar. I do. Have, okay, what made you feel in? What made you feel interest on voice acting? Well, like I said, the um, the voice actor said that and he basically gave me the interest and inspiration to become a voice actor myself. Uh, what movie or series is the most inspirational to you? Ooh, oh. That's a tough one. I'm sorry. 
actually Toast of London. It's one of my favorite British sitcoms, and basically it's all about a about an actor trying to become a really great actor. And honestly, he goes through many misfortunes and fortunate uh, events. But yeah, it inspired me to to work hard towards my goal of becoming a voice actor. So yeah, that's pretty much about it, guys. Um, but I guess to make this video more interesting, down in the com down in the comments below, I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna give you guys some questions, and uh, you can answer them down below in this video. Um, what is your favorite cartoon show? Doesn't matter if it's from Nickelodeon, doesn't matter if it's from Cartoon Network or anywhere. What's your favorite? What's your favorite cartoon show, okay? And question number two, ooh, what can I give y'all? Hmm. Uh, I guess what's your what's your favorite game or genre in games? Do you like first person shooters, MOBAs, or anything like that? But other than that, guys, uh, that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and um, hope you guys are having a great day or night. I'll see you later.